Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God, all praises to the Most High. So, God wants me to talk about, is blood thicker than water? Or is the spirit thicker than water? Like, the same people always say, blood is thicker than water. Or is the spirit thicker than water? And it's family, emotional manipulation, because they're not being held accountable for their wrongdoings, their actions, their deeds, their ways and ideologies because right is right and wrong is wrong and it doesn't matter if it's your friend or your family it, you're, they're supposed to be held accountable for their wrongdoings and to prove to you through the scriptures that this saying blood is thicker than water is a question he's asking you is blood really thicker than water? When, what did he tell you concerning your family? All right, so let's get into the scriptures and um, just like some references of some stories he wants me to talk about, but we're not going into those stories. I'm just going to explain it like Cain and Abel, King David and Absalom and so forth. So what did God tell you concerning your family? Matthew 10 and 36, a man's foes shall be they of his own household, right? So, and in Matthew 12 and 50, it says, for whosoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. So your family are those who are doing the will of God. So is blood thicker than water? Is blood thicker than water? Or is it the spirit? God's asking you. Is blood thicker than water? Like people like to say. Stick together with their family. Or is the spirit thicker than water? Now he wants me to say. God is a spirit. God is a spirit. And the spirit is everlasting. 1 Corinthians 2 and 10, but God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. Hereby how we, ye, the spirit of God, every spirit that confess that Christ is come in the flesh is of God. So we have, so is blood thicker than water or is it the spirit? Because God gave you a family of the spirit and he told you, be not of the flesh, your family of the flesh, are they working and operating in the flesh? Or are they operating in the spirit? So they're not your brother, your sister, or your mother, unless they're operating in the body of Christ. Unless they're the... Do you understand me? What did Christ tell you? For whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and my sister and my mother. So if your brother, your sister and your mother are not doing the will of God, are they your brother, sister and mother? If they're not doing the will of the Father, they're not. God gave you new brothers and sisters and a new mother. And those people who are operating in the flesh, what are they? A man's foes shall be they of his own household. That's why I'm... A man must leave his mother and father's house and cleave to his wife. Matthew 10 and 21. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. Your first enemies are in your household. Your first tears happen in your household. The first things that happen, they happen in your household. They happen before you ever go to school. Okay? So it's the spirit. God is a spirit, right? So we have to test the spirit in people. We not we're not supposed to just go off say blood is thicker than water, but we're supposed to try people's spirit. Is the spirit of our brother, our sister, our family, our friend right? Is it right? One John four and one. Beloved, believe not every spirit. It doesn't say believe their spirit because they're family, because they're blood. No, beloved, believe not every spirit, 
but try the spirits whether they are of God. He didn't they didn't they didn't say that all your family members were of God. It told you to try their spirit. Because many false prophets are gone into the world, but beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. Have you been trying the spirits of people you know if they are of God? You know that God made good and he made evil. So you think every person he made in your family, he made good? So do you really believe that blood is thicker than water? Leviticus 17 and 14. For it is the life of all flesh, the blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore, I said unto the children of Israel, right? So the, 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 your life, the blood, sorry, this is a scripture. For the blood is the life, but Will will your family have eternal life if they're not in the will and walking in the spirit of God? So is blood thicker than water? Leviticus 17 and 11, this is what I was going for. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. Remember, God told them to choose life. He set before them life and death. Did they choose life? Is blood thicker than water, or is the spirit, or, or is it the spirit? Because he gave you, he'll give you a new brother, a sister, and a mother. He'll give you a new family that are in his will. So, is your family who you defend when they're wrong? Are they in the will of God? Is blood thicker than water, according to God? Or Wrong is wrong and right is right. Righteousness is righteousness and unrighteousness is unrighteousness. This is the question for you. So, was blood thicker than water when Cain slew Abel? Was blood thicker than water when Absalom tried to kill King David, his dad, for the throne? Was blood thicker than water when Jacob and Esau, who are brothers, Esau tried to kill Jacob? Amen. Was blood thicker than water when Rachel and Leah were fighting, were sisters fighting over the same man? Was blood thicker than water when King Saul was trying to king, kill King David and Saul was King David's father-in-law? King David was Saul's son-in-law? Was blood thicker than water when Laban defrauded Jacob for the years that he worked for him? When he was his uncle? Was blood thicker than water when Joseph, Joseph's brother sold him to, to the Egyptians and when they threw him in a pit? So, is blood thicker than water? Is the question here a man's foes a man's foes shall be they of his own household and who are your brother and sisters for whosoever shall do the will of my father which is in heaven the same as my brother and sister and mother those are your brother sister and mother and you you cleave to your wife so, all of, was this, when people say blood is thicker than water, they're not being held accountable for their wrongdoings, actions, deeds, ways, and ideologies, and their traditions, what they pass down, generational curses, generational, you know, bad ideologies and thinking, upbringings and growings, emotional, family emotional manipulation. You know, a stuck way of thinking, mental bondage. So is blood thicker than water when there's so many instances to give you examples? These are just seven. But if you 
pick up the scriptures, you can read more. Was this bl is blood thicker than water? That's that's why you're warned a lot about this. And if God has guided you to leave your mother and father's house, and He has a place for you, then there must be a reason why. And with with all the examples you've seen through the scriptures, you have to understand that this saying, "blood is thicker than water," is not true. It's not. And you need to try the spirit. It's the spirit we're dealing with. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether they are of God. And always remember God made good and evil. And there's good and evil in all, in, in your family, in friends, and everyone. You understand? So never just think because they're family, they're not, they're, they're, there's no way they could be evil. Try the spirits, beloved. Stay blessed.